Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the channel. Uh, now, I know in my last video last week, I said that I would be doing a video on putting some exhaust on the old fat boy there. Uh, but if you saw the video I put out uh, on Wednesday, which probably a lot of you didn't, um, the pipes I got, uh, one of them had uh, the chrome chipping off of it. So I have to wait for a replacement that still isn't here. So that is why we are going to look at some differences between the old and the newer fat boys. But first, we've got a look at uh, a viewer bike. And this is Andy's bike from Calgary. This is an 115th anniversary fat boy. We have a wind splitter windshield, custom grips, and smoked lenses, chrome electrical covers, uh, detachable backrest, chrome coil cover and a swing arm bag and it's interesting that he has that picture in front of the sign at Katepwa because I've been out that way quite a bit too. I guess Andy used to live uh, around these parts before moving to Calgary but anyway excellent bike thanks for sending it in Andy and if anybody else wants to see their bike on a video send me a picture my email is in the description to the video below and uh Let's get to the main event. So in 2018, Harley revamped their soft tail models. And this of course included the fat boy. So we are going to go through five main things that differentiates the classic fat boy and the modern fat boy. Now, we're not gonna be talking about uh, things that have changed, you know, over all the years such as badging, tire size, different engines, things like that. We're gonna to stick to five main things. So number one is going to be the frame. In 2018, Harley came out with a new frame for the soft tails, which was stiffer and stronger. It was also about 13 pounds lighter, which uh, helped to make the new Fat Boys about 30 pounds lighter than the old previous to 2018 Fat Boys. Now, if you look at both models and you look around uh, in front of the rear tire, you can see the difference in these frames. Uh, the older, the 2017 and, and back, you had um, a frame where the bottom basically came straight into the swing arm, where the 2018 and forward models that frame kind of curves up and sweeps into the swing arm. So number two is going to be the rear suspension. Uh, the previous models before 2018, they had twin sided swing arm suspension in the rear. Basically the shocks were up underneath the bike and I can tell you that made it an awfully big pain in the ass to actually adjust those. The new bikes, they now come with one shock, a mono shock, which is actually mounted right directly under the seat. Now we have here our 2024 Fat Boy, and you can see this one has the preload adjustment right here. It's basically a turn of the dial nowadays, and that is so much infinitely better than having to get underneath the bike to actually change the adjustment on those shocks. This can be done on the fly so much better. Harley really should have done something like this a lot sooner. So number three, let's talk about fenders. The uh, pre-2018 models had longer kind of flared or swept fenders, gave it a very classy look. And this was something that really pissed off a lot of the uh, the fans of the Fat Boy. I would say it's almost split between whether they like the new or the old. But let's have a look at what the new Fat Boy fenders look like. So on our 2024, you can see that the front fender is basically more chopped or bobbed, if you want to call it that. The same when we're talking about the back fender. It is pretty much the same. And I actually can't fault Harley for, for
for doing this with their fenders. Um, I think they probably did it more just to show off these massive big wheels they got, especially on the back. They got the 240 and on the front the 160. They're big, they're beefy, and I guess the idea was just to show them off. Okay, folks, now we come to number four, and this is the front lighting on the Fat Boy. And I mean by front lighting, I mean the headlight on the front. The pre-2018 models came with kind of a big, um, kind of a bullet style, kind of bulbous, uh, big headlight that stuck out the front. It was out in the open, it wasn't enclosed, um, and a lot of people really dug the look of this as well. But let's have a look at what they did in 2018. And this is what they went with in the 2018 models. Um, now this is all chrome. It used to be kind of a satin chrome, but you can see it's all enclosed now. It's got a big nacelle on the front. I think it actually does look pretty good. It gives it that kind of a, a steamroller or almost a kind of a, a freight train stance, which uh, I actually, uh, I do not have a problem with. And now folks, last but not least, number five, and that is the oil tank. Um, now in uh, the models 2017 and prior, um, you had the oil tank basically right below the seat. In other words, basically right under your crotch. And what better place for several liters of boiling hot oil? Um, having the oil tank right there, um, especially on an air-cooled engine that's also basically right between your legs, um, it throws a hell of a lot of heat onto the rider. And anybody who owned something like a 103 twin cam and they were sitting in traffic on a hot day will know the kind of heat that that generates because it would almost sear sear the uh, the hair right off your thighs. But in 2018, they did make a change, a change for the better, and let's have a look at that right now. Now here is where your oil tank used to be on the pre-2018 models. Um, this is just now a cover. They've moved the oil tank basically to an oil pan underneath the bike. There is your filler for it. It was an excellent idea that they should have done a long time ago. Um, these covers actually come black stock. Um, these chrome ones I put on from a 2024 breakout. Now behind this cover is going to be your access to your battery. Now, if we come to the other side, and I will have to try and stay out of the glare from the window, but there's your other cover. Behind that cover, you have basically the brains of your motorcycle. You have things like your ECM back there, your plug-in if you're going to put in a tuner, anything like that. Um, that's what you got behind there. Very good idea to move that oil tank so there we have it five main things that uh, separate the 2017 and earlier models between the 2018 forward more modern models now of course obviously there's all kinds of different little things that have been changed like badging and, and all that kind of thing um, my plan is when I finally am able to get the fat boy out on the road, which with the weather being so schizophrenic here, I have no idea when that's going to be. Um, I want to do a very detailed, comprehensive go through top to bottom, front to back of that new fat boy. And when I do that, I'm going to talk a lot more probably about all the little differences between the models now and the models then. That's the plan. But like I say, I don't know if I'm going to get the chance to do that anytime soon. Um, hopefully the next video is going to be the exhaust video, but I'm not too sure. Hopefully the pipes come in in time and I can get to that because I kind of had to throw this together quick because I wasn't actually expecting to do this video today. But anyway, that's it for today, folks. I have taken up far too much of your time. Go get yourselves a drink. Have a good rest of your weekend. 
and we will see you in the next one.